In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a nice concrete wall material in minutes. Let's build this concrete wall together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a photo from a concrete wall as base. Choose the photo from the project files and drag and drop it into the layer stack. In the new opened window we choose Image to Material AI powered. AI is best if there's complex shapes, with light and shadows. B2M is mostly better for simple cases where dark colors are low in heat and with uniform lightning. These are powerful filters and creates all the maps for you. Let's push the micro details slightly. Here we tweak also the roughness details to get more variation which makes it more realistic. To make the maps more smooth and equal we use the equalize filter. We add it by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in equalize and choose equalize. Let's decrease the radius and activate keep local differences to keep the smaller details. While we're at it, we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. We use the make it tile filter to make it seamless. Let's tweak the blending area by adjusting the threshold and the contrast to get a nice result. How much you have to tweak depends on the complexity of the input image. To make it smaller, we take the transform filter and scale it by 2 in X and Y axis. Let's randomize it a bit more and get rid of some obvious details. We use the clone stamp filter for this step. You can move the spot from where you clone manually or by holding Alt and left mouse button. You can then simply paint in the 2D view to get rid of the areas you want. If you want to remove already painted areas, switch the color with X to black and remove them. Let's use precision in combination with threshold to get a nice result. To stamp out the area where the plastic knots come in place, we use the emboss filter. Let's adjust the emboss size, distance and the amount. We invert the border emboss and bring up the intensity. Then we activate the fill emboss, invert it and adjust the height of the knot. We drag and drop the plastic material under the emboss filter to fill the holes and change the random seed. As grain we choose granite grain because of the nicer variation. Let's decrease the grain intensity and make the color lighter. Adding two materials on top of each other blends them. This way you can combine multiple materials. Now we change the blending mode to custom mask blend. We click on the brush button and draw the blending mask in the 2D view. With control and mouse wheel we control the brush size. Let's change to the height channel and draw the mask exactly where the holes are in place. Finally we can smooth the mask slightly more. To check the results in different lightning conditions we can choose between several different environment lights. Because this is an outdoor surface, let's choose Monterey. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Send2 to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SPSAR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.